Keontae, you caught that lob there at the end. Where does that kind of rank in terms of your dunks and finishes throughout your career? Uh, that might have been number one because like, that kind of sealed the deal for us. So I would say that's definitely number one for me. What's, what's kind of going through your mind and what you're trying to do there as you, you get that lob? Because you were kind of getting yourself into a dangerous spot. Uh, yeah, I seen that they put two on the ball. And uh, the way uh, Naquan's or Keontae, man, was helping, he was a little bit above him. So I just, you know, figure throw it up to Key. I know he'll catch it. Is it fair to say when you kind of didn't have your offensive game going tonight that you kind of put a little bit more intensity towards your defensive game? Uh, yeah. I try to rebound as much as I could down there, try to help uh, Bebe or Naquan on day five, man. So, I mean, I knew at half I was one for seven going into the half. And then I just knew I'd try to do something. Offense was going to try to do something productive for the team. Marquise, a couple of games in a row with a pretty steady offense for the team-wise. How much did Oklahoma State make things tough for you guys? Uh, you got to give a lot of credit to them. Um, you know, they defended well. They blocked, you know, how many shots? A lot of our shots. Um, and we know, you know, they are the number one team defensively in a, a conference. So you got to give a lot of credit to them. Um, they play hard. They got a lot of second-chance points, um, which led them to stay in the game. Um, but... You know, we just adjusted in the second half. Uh, we we try to not take try to not take too many tough tools and look for the open man. And once we did that, things started rolling. Desi, how tough were they to get in passing lanes and make things difficult for you guys? Like Marquis said, they're a very good team. I mean, they're a very good team, but also they number one in the Big 12 in defense. So we we try to move the ball, try to space for, and try to get paint to, like put um, paint touches and try to get the open passes. You know, that's what we worked on all week in practice. How much did they change up defenses from zone to man and maybe a little junk defense kind of throw you guys off? Um, I feel like in the first half it did just didn't know what if they were standing in the zone or standing in the man. But once we started realizing we just moved the ball to the final open man and big time players started knocking down the shots. This is Keith, this is the first time that a lot of people had been able to see you live and see your athleticism. How exciting was that for you? I mean, more excited that we got the win, really. Just come back. We've been on the road, so to come back in Brown and just get the win as a ranked team, just show them how much hard work we've been putting in. That's really the main main thing for me was just trying to go out there and get the win, not really play for the crowd. What do you think about the crowd and the and loudness tonight? One of the best crowds I've been around, like, for sure. Definitely loud. We couldn't hear the play calls when we were trying to switch on defense and stuff, so we need to bring that every game. Desi, you played in a lot of loud environments at, at Arkansas. Same with you, Keontae, at Florida. But just kind of talk about that crowd a little bit more and, and maybe what did that do and kind of help you guys tonight? Like that's one of the best crowds I've ever been in, even though I played at Arkansas. But, Brown, we got, we got one of the best friends in the nation. Matter of fact, in the country. Without them, I don't feel like we, we came out with the win like we did, you know what I mean? Because they brought the energy. We fed off of it. We played together. We stuck together, and we came out with the win. Coach always say when you got the crowd with us, it makes us up 10 to start off. So I feel like with them, just knowing it was there, just got us all hyped up for the game. And just it was a great feeling. And Marquise, I want to ask you about Desi. How nice is it to have somebody to be able to come off the bench like he's been able to do and, and take some load off of you and, and really help everybody else? Man, he was big time tonight. And just, you know, he's a confident player. He plays with energy. Um, and we need that Desi every day, you know. Um, He's, he's starting to just, uh, get clicking out, um, but when he's rolling and he's out there having fun, that's when he's at his best. Um, he's a big spark off of our bench, but he's not a bench player. And he plays, you know, like a starter, and he, he accepts his role very well. And just I'm just so happy to see, you know, his, his production on the court. Um, he's like a brother to me, uh, and, you know, we just love him, and we just need that more um, every game. In the last two games, Marquise, you guys have obviously had the super high offensive output. Just wasn't necessarily there like you guys have kind of talked about tonight. Is it more of a challenge to kind of shift the mindset and say, okay, this has to be more of a defensive game? Or is that something you guys talk about? And how did you manage to do that tonight? Uh, we just try to focus. We, well, we always try to focus on guarding. Um, you know, like I said, you know, Mike Boyan is a very good coach. Um, he, I'm pretty sure he watches a lot of film. So he made some big time adjustments in game. Um, and that's that's what threw us off, you know, for the most part. But 
like Keontae said, once we started getting clicking and once we started, you know, seeing what they were in, it was easier to, to score. Marquise, you talked about Desi coming off the bench, but what did Ish and Bebe, guys like that, just what did their energy bring off the bench? Big time. I mean, just their energy, their their willingness to rebound and defend. Um, and just, you know, Bebe went three for three at the line. Um, and that was big time for us. Um, we, we needed those points and we needed those free throws. Um, and he works extremely hard and so does Ish. So just whenever they get in the game, you could trust them um, to have your back and to go out there and fight. Yeah, you, you talked about uh, defense, but how, what does this show? Maybe this team, you guys showed you could win a high scoring game, but this was kind of more of like a rock fight, it seemed like. Uh, is that, did that kind of show that you guys can can win any style game, you think? Uh, Coach Mark, like Coach Marco said in a in a huddle or before the game, he talked about you know this was going to be an up and down game. Um, this was going to be like a, a fist fight, and we knew that coming into this game. Um, so we just try to stay poised and stay with each other, you know, in them tough situations. Uh, we practice, you know, fight to grind. Um, so when time when times do get rough, and we got five minutes on the on the clock, uh, we know how to you know fight through adversity. So. And, uh, yeah, Coach also mentioned uh, yesterday in the press conference, he said the big crowd is, is great, but sometimes when you're not used to, to playing in front of that, that big a crowd, it takes a while to settle down. Did you feel like you guys maybe were a little bit overexcited early in the game? Um, I feel like we just, yeah, uh, this was our, you know, first game back, you know, from a, a long road uh, trip. So once we settled down, we was pretty good, but we love the fans, man. We want them here. We have the best fans in the nation, um, and we feed off of that. Um, it was great to see, you know, a lot of people in the stands. And we got to give a lot of credit to, to, you know, our university and to what this team has built, you know, over the past couple months. So. Marquise Deuce Vaughn told us one time when he scores a touchdown, he doesn't really hear the crowd for some reason, doesn't hear the deuce, but of course the fans are a lot further out. Are you hearing every decibel when you hit a big three here in Bramlage? Yeah, I hear it. It's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, uh, you try to stay locked in, though. You try to stay in the moment. You try to not, you know, let that get to you because it's a long game. But, uh, yeah, I, I hear it. How does it feel to know the next four games are sold out? Home yeah, games. that's big time. Shout out to the fans, man. Great fans. Just on the lob when you let it go, was it a little bit of adrenaline that you might have thrown it a little bit higher than you would have anticipated? I mean, that's Keontae Johnson. I see him jump every day. I know just, you know, he's a great athlete. Uh, and we have that connection where, you know, we look each other, you know, in the eye. And he tells me throw it up, and you know, I just do that. But he's a great athlete, so. Almost about anywhere it was. I, mean, I told him in practice the other day, the, if you're going to throw a lot, just throw it by the backboard close up to the top square. And I feel like today he finally did it. So. <laughs> Marquise, I want to know, uh, in the moment, how high is your confidence level when you take just like three steps across midcourt and put up a shot like that that goes in? Uh, my confidence is high because of the work I put in each and every day. You know, I work on those shots. You know, before practice, after practice. So when in game, it feels like practice. And, you know, coach always talks about taking practice shots. And that's what I try to do. Um, yeah. And, uh, Desi, what was, what was coach's message to you guys trailing at halftime? That hadn't happened in a while. He just told us to come out and beat us, move the ball, get paint touches, and play together and stay together. Play off the fans, and, and they bring energy. And we got to look up. We got two, one of the best players in the country, both of these guys right here. So we go as they go. If they get they get going, we're going to get going. You know, we feed off them. Marquise, you go up against Desi every day in practice with the guard-to-guard -guard stuff. How much of a better player has he made you this year? Uh, he's made me a great player. I mean, he's, he's a tough guard. Um, he's very competitive. Um, and just every day I know, you know, when I'm looking at him, I got to bring my best. Um, but he's he's fierce. He's from Arkansas. Uh, he's he's tough. So he's he's really good, man. Deontay, was that the most physical team you've played on the inside this season? Yeah, for sure. What what did they do in particular on the glass? What were the things you kind of had to counter 
uh, in terms of rebounding, trying to keep them off the glass? Um, I mean, right when the guard, they wedge, they, they big wedge the, us underneath the basket real well. So like, we would get stuck on the top side of them and they'll be right in the right spot. But they also got like a lot of long rebounds too when they miss three. So that was like another part that played into it. Kenta, you've talked a little bit about your offensive struggles tonight making shots, um, but in the second half you had a couple on the baseline turnaround jumpers. In the first half you got into the lane a few times and had the same kind of shot fall. What kind of confidence do you have in your ability right now to create enough space with a turnaround fade or to finish over somebody? Um, just like he said, I mean, those shots are like what I work on, just trying to do different kind of moves. I know different teams are going to have different scout on me, so just trying to find a different, uh, different moves to do and just I like take practice shots as well. So I feel like those shots I usually take. Any of you guys can answer this one. I just want to know how connected with the fans are you? You know, after each game in Bramlage, you guys go around, high five with all the fans. That's not something that, you know, we have seen every every year in Bramlage Coliseum. So what's that kind of tradition like so far early in this season still? And how much do you like that Coach Tang, you know, made that a thing? I feel like it's a big thing. It just shows how much we are like involved with the friends, and the more we interact with them, the more they'll come respect us and come to the game and just show their support. So I feel like that's our way of showing support to them and just thanking them, going around. That's the best thing we can do rather than take pictures and make their day. I mean, they came out and paid for us. So just going out and just taking pictures with the fans is a blessing. And I think for Coach Tane to change that around is a big, big time. Just show how much engagement he has with the fans base as well. There's a lot of guys who, or a lot of people across the country who became aware of this program over the last week for you guys to get the notoriety, the publicity, and then to follow it up with, what, with a win tonight in this atmosphere. Just what did tonight show you about your team? Uh, you know, it's great to have, you know, that, that number attached to your name. Um, you know, coach always talks about celebrating wins, so we want to celebrate that. But we know, you know, it's a price to pay with that. We're going to get teams, you know, best shot. And we just try to stay hungry and humble. You know, through it all, um, being ranked wasn't, you know, our ultimate goal. It was to win a Big 12 championship and go to the NCAA tournament. So that's the ultimate goal. And each and every day we got to focus on that and nothing else. Keontae, they may be, uh, I, don't, I don't know if taunt is the right word, but they maybe let you have it when they scored on you one time in the first half. I think you returned the favor late. Does that fire you up at all when, when maybe there's a little trash talking going on out there or when you feel like they, they're telling you that you can't guard them or something like that? Oh, no, nah, I mean, it was just, I was just going with the momentum. I mean, usually, I don't know. I just, <laughs> it was just like something that just happened at the time. I mean, I was, I know the first half I was struggling. So when I got the and one, it was just trying to get myself going. And that's when I ended up doing the, with the little signature, too small thing. Um, coach always talks about it's hard to come by wins, so you got to celebrate them. Um, it's been a long time coming. Uh, we put in a lot of work over the summer, and you know, each and every day, we just you know are blessed to play this game. We don't get to do this. Um, we, I mean, we don't have to do this. We get to do this. So uh, that's how we approach it.